you just don't realize how precious life is until um, you're kind of faced with your own mortality of it. Going through cancer and battling that, it was a horrible experience. But then to be at the point where we're ready to celebrate um, everything that we've, you know, in the past year have fought through as a family and with our friends and everything, and to be at that moment celebrating our anniversary and um, this new gift of life that we've been given and horrible stuff that we've gone through to then be put in the situation of the active shooter, you know, to be able to be together and to battle not only cancer, but then the active shooter. I mean, it's it's been very hard for us, but I think it's also um, bonded us in a way that not very many people can say they've been bonded that way. Because we were in this unfortunate situation and lived through this active shooter experience, that we hope that out of that we can help others learn advantages that they have over an active shooter and give them hope in, in what could be a hopeless situation. If you're in an incident like this and you feel like you have no options and you're going to die, um, if I can give you options, then you feel it more empowered. You feel like I have an option, I can do something. And it, and, and at the last resort, at least you feel like I can fight. Always good to, to talk about things, right? You get those emotional things out, but also, you know, just like I said, when we talked about the people that we had to leave behind, I still see their faces. Like, so those kind of things still do flash up in front of you. Like we kind of took September off of presentations because it was getting really heavy for us. Um, you know, every week, reliving it several times. Um, and we do, we're, we're so lucky to be able to be doing this and to be telling our story. We just want to empower them to have um, some decision making in an event like this that if, if they were ever caught in this event, they, they would feel like they have something to do. They don't feel trapped. They don't feel like they don't have any, any options. And, and giving people options give them power. And with that power, hopefully we can stop these uh, active shooters.